Hi, Dr. Brian Thorberg. I just shot the video on what I tell parents uh, to expect and what to do at the hospital with their newborn babies. And I did say no hepatitis B at birth unless you, the mother, have hepatitis B. And why do I say that? Well, I explained it in the video about kids aren't gonna have sex, they're not gonna do IV drugs, they're not going to have uh, IV transfusion, so the likelihood of a need to be protected against hepatitis B is really non-existent. So when I was formulating this uh, very valid opinion of going against the CDC schedule to give hepatitis B at birth, um, I went on a physician online uh, website and it's a private group with just doctors and I went to the pediatrician infectious disease specialist webpage or community chat room and I said, why are we doing this? And these are the answers I got. One, what if there is a lab error? Well, that's always a possibility with every single test, so we can't call into question every single test because of the hepatitis B risk with a new mom. I mean, every test would have to be drawn at least three times in order to be statistically valid. So at some point, we do just have to trust the system. Otherwise, every single one pass lab test would be called into question. So I discount that reason. Second is we are thought leaders for the rest of the world in the United States, that being that other countries do have epidemic pandemic levels of hepatitis B in certain communities and so therefore we want to help protect them since they follow the US vaccine schedule and I am NOT putting my child out there for other countries other uh, uh, populations of people um, I, I don't I, I understand the epidemiological reason but I'm a physician and I treat the person in front of me the next statement was well when mom gets checked at 34 35 weeks and she is negative what if she is a prostitute and then contracts hepatitis B after that test, so therefore she turns positive by the time the baby's born. I think that's a little absurd. I'm sure it could happen. And the next statement was, well, what if dad sleeps with a prostitute after the test, then sleeps with mom and then has the baby? Well, again, that is possible, but very out there. So I don't, I discount that one. Uh, but these are discussions to have with your family when making that decision, whether or not to give hepatitis B at birth. Thanks, hit that like button. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.